Morning. Welcome to our channel, Hangovers and Hampays. I'm Jolene. And I'm Chris. And we're here in Marmaris. And it's July 2023, the height of summer. And it's absolutely beautiful. We thought we'd do something a bit different this morning. Um, we're going to take a walk down the beachfront. We've started at Cedia Beach. And we're going to walk down into Marmaris. And show you how long the walk is and the prices of all the bars and restaurants on the way. Yeah, we know in the last year that uh, the prices of certain things in Turkey have went up quite a bit. Uh, it's mostly beef, to be honest, what we're seeing. The alcohol prices are very similar to what they were last year, so everyone seems to be a bit anxious about prices and everything about coming here. So we're going to walk down the promenade and stop at as many bars, restaurants as we can and have a look at the uh, prices that are currently in 2023 in July. If you find this enjoyable, we also have a few other videos that you might find interesting as well. Okay, and if you really like them, you can hit a subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. So let's go. All right, we're starting at Celia Beach here, which is one of our favorite hotels. Uh, very small hotel, beautiful. Everyone gets to know your name. They have a pier, and this is our private beach. Uh, we decided to start the promenade walk from City of Beach because sort of up that way there's a few hotels and then there's really just nothing until you hit Ishmaelir. Um, so we thought, just start here, this is where the most people are going to find this information useful. really is gorgeous today isn't it? Oh it is. It's, we've, we've been wanting to do this walk for a few days now but it's just been too warm. It's been, it was a bit of a heat wave and it was into the 40s for a few days when we arrived it was 46. Um, but yeah it's starting to cool off a bit thankfully but not that we haven't enjoyed the heat. This is the Hotel Tropical. It's nice and relaxed. They've definitely a private beach it's all covered in. Apart from that little bit, that had a sneak peek at. <laughs> Let's go. On. This noise, if you can hear it, hopefully on the microphones, is just the cricket. It's just continuous here. It's like the sound of holiday. Yeah, well, they're on and off, you know. <laughs> Out there, it is. You just look at that view, and it is stunning. We've been here for this is our seventh day here, so we're here a week. We're still waiting to see a cloud, and that's why you come to Turkey in July and August. Views Guaranteed like that sunshine and blue skies. Flamingo Hotel. Well, it's good to see my phone has now dimmed to maximum, minimum, sorry, because it's already starting to overheat. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> this might be a stop start video, chop together, guys. <laughs> Well, we'll just have to take a few beer stops then oh, along that, the way. <laughs> that's, what a great excuse. <laughs> it's like my phone needs to recharge and so do we. So that's the Grand Eye... Is no, it? Golden Rock. Golden Rock. Oh, that's a Golden Rock. Yes, we have stayed there too. Um, it, it's lovely. Really enjoyed the food there. Yeah. Stayed in October. The staff and all were great. The staff in there are as excellent well. too. Yes, and that's their private beach. All comes included with the all inclusive. So that's a big plus over the like a lot of the Spanish resorts and everything. That you you don't have to hire some beds. Good morning. 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 <laughs> <laughs> And there's all of these uh, jet ski places dotted along the beach as well. Yeah. So if there isn't one right by your hotel, there will be one nearby. There will be one. You can get your jet skis and banana boats and flying fish and 
we've All the rest um, of it. got a video with the jet skis on it in one of our other segments and jet skis were 60 pounds 60 pounds yes 20 minutes 60 pounds for 20 minutes yes and that was for the 255 horsepower jet skis so the flan machines <laughs> we'll let our 18 year old son go on one and he hasn't even got a driving license so that was scary but he loved it and he didn't fall off so <laughs> If he can do it, anyone can, because yeah. he's a klutz. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hope he doesn't watch us. I can't see what hotel that is. It's one of it's a Grand Ideal Prime or something. I like. think it might be the Grand Ideal Prime Beach. Yeah, that's, it's a real but big hotel, that one. We'll get to the sign in a wee second here. We have yeah, been here a few, like, lots of times, so we're kind of. It's just been a while since we've been up this far to the city of Beach End. Hey, much right. Ideal Prime Beach Hotel. There you go. <laughs> a nice beach there. And then that hotel's absolutely massive. Awesome. Yeah, because it's on both sides. Oh. Yeah, it is, yeah. Wow. Actually, a friend of mine stayed there and he absolutely loved it. So yeah, it was gorgeous. But you'll go to TripAdvisor and you'll still see one-star reviews because a lot of people like to come on holiday to complain. I do like their beachfront, I must yeah, say. Yeah, I like beautiful. their beachfront too. Yeah, for that hotel, yeah. it's really nice. And as you can see way in the distance there, that's Marmors Marina. Just sort of shows the, the true scale of the place. It's it is such a big resort. There's so much to do. So many bars, restaurants. You'll never ever get around all of them. The boat trips leave from the marina daily as well. You can yeah. get all inclusive ones. There's massive pirate ships. Lots of different ones. Ones that go to Turtle Beach. Really, yeah, really good. There is. There's um. We did one yesterday. We didn't get. It was like half ten in the morning. The half seven at night and that was the mud bath yeah. really enjoyed it long day but really enjoyed the trip and the trips here are so cheap you know um we've we've been to greece a few times the corfu and sudari we, we do love it but the, the likes of water park trips and boat trips and everything they're so expensive whereas you can get them here your boat trips for like 12.50 all inclusive boat trips with your lunch soft drinks and alcohol for like 15 pounds yeah all day you know it's such a cheap day And up there, it's Pasha Beach. Well, that's like so. That's how big that Grand Ideal one is. Yeah, that's huge. It is absolutely massive. That's a lot of real estate right there. <laughs> Prime real estate. <laughs> Prime real estate, exactly. So yeah, Pasha Beach. Not stayed in that one, but I have stayed in the Grand Pasha which is just set back a bit from the beachfront. Um, it's a sister property, so it's good. So I'm sure this one's just as good. It's some quiet looking that hotel. Yeah, it does yeah. look quiet, doesn't it? For peak season, but everyone's probably on the beach. Most of these all-inclusives as well will have oh, like, yes, Turkish yes. hammams yes. for your Turkish bath. The Turkish bath saunas, massages, all sort of in a package. We really recommend Turkish bath. They're so good. Yeah, it's, it's a must every time you come to Turkey. There you first. go in there, you can get a Scottish breakfast for 249 lira. Yeah. And a full English for 185, so that's fairly reasonable You're actually. You're talking 30, 34 to the pound at the moment, so 340 is a tenner, so 170 is five pound, just over five pound for your English breakfast. That's quite an expensive Scottish breakfast, but. Yeah, but you pay more for the square sausage scones, and the scones, potato scone bread, <laughs> that's worth it. You, get, you can shop around, you know, you can get them for like five pounds each. Uh, long gone are the good old days when they were 99p, about 10 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> you used to come out and get your coffee and your coffee was more expensive than your breakfast, but I suppose that was the sales ploy, wasn't it? And again, there's little entrances dotted the whole way along this beachfront here. If one of your hotels isn't on the beachfront, you can just yeah. access the beach so yeah, easily. Yeah, you're staying a few blocks back. We're, we're like two blocks back off the main road and it's less than five minutes walk to the beach, you know. 
And there's another jet ski parasailing point here. And if you don't have one that is on the beach, there are plenty of these dotted along where you can use free sunbeds. And yeah. if you just buy the drinks, white and um, drinks and that. Yeah, they'll let you have a sunbed for free. Yeah, again, I was saying about the Mediterranean. My mum and dad always go to Spain and they pay a fortune for sunbeds and everything. You're talking 10 to 15 euros, you're paying for umbrellas. Uh, there's the Emery Beach Hotel. But uh, even if you're in a self catering property, you can come down. And any of the bars along the front, you can use their sunbeds for just a beer or come down and get breakfast in a restaurant. You can use their beer all day. So or, sorry, the beach all day and their pools and all the rest of it, all their facilities. So the Emery Beach is split across the road. It's got one on this side and then one just across the main street yeah, as well. Which is a busy road, so if um, you're not the most mobile, you want to be staying in the beach hotel, not the Emery Hotel, because you would have to cross the road all the time to, to get to some of the restaurants and to get to their beach. All inclusive is all served out of the beach hotel yeah. for that, that hotel. And then they have a pier as well. So it's one of the ones with a pier. Chris's parents stayed there last year and that's the only thing they found was yeah. the crossing the road was a bit of a nuisance. Cause yeah. It can be a busy road. It is a busy road and it's not like separate crossings back in the UK where you, you literally everyone stops for you, that doesn't happen. You have to put your foot out on the road and start walking for them to slam the brakes on. You will, you will get the odd car that will stop for you. That's nice. These are apartments really on this section. Not sure what bar this is. A menu there, but we have seen some at night. They do have shows and all on there. Yeah. When we've been walking by here before. Yeah. Well, there's a quick look at their, their menu there. Oh, and you can if you like hookah lounge type things. Shisha. Shisha, yeah. And there's the Sunrise Hotel. Sunrise Hotel with a very quiet beach. So, <laughs> where is everybody? That looks a nice pier there. I wonder what hotel that belongs to. To oh, the blue Grand Azur. Oh, I've heard good things about that. Yes. It's quite expensive. <laughs> uh, the Turkish people love their little sayings on things, so cheaper than Asda. <laughs> yeah, cheaper than Asda. Morning. True. Morning. Morning. <laughs> you couldn't get a jet ski in Asda for 60 quid, could you? 20 minutes. So that's the Grand Azure's gardens and things. Yeah. Like beautiful as well. Oh look, a big gate and all on it. It's very secure down there. Yeah. Yeah. To be VIP, stay at that hotel. <laughs> These beds and all that. I know, look at the beach, well. yeah. Yeah, if that's part of your beach. That's pretty cool. So to say up this end, there's not as many bars, there's very few bars jotted along. It's a lot of big hotels. But then as you start making your way towards the centre, there's a lot more bars. So if you are choosing to stay in some of them, just consider that, that it might be a walk for you each night or a ride on the Dolmish. Yeah. We took the Dolmish up to here this morning and it was 
15 lira each, which is about 40 pence in yeah. today's exchange rate. Yeah. So it's super cheap to get a bus down into Marmaris. And that for that same 15 lira, you can travel the whole length of Marmaris. So that's yeah. right down into the marina as well. That's right, yeah. Taxis, taxis are hit and miss. It seems to be... Sometimes they'll give you a price which is expensive if you ask and then other times you just jump in and the meter it's it's so a lot less. I would say use the meter. Use the meter, just jump in, yeah, and tell them where you're going. There is some taxi stands also that um, they have a fixed price that shows you what the price is to the like the marina or, or for Ishmaelia or something. The airport and things like that. Yeah. So this is the Marabella? And here's a truck. <laughs> there you go, if you're looking for the likes of a glow party, or white parties, there's places alone here that have that, but this one obviously has yeah. a glow party on a Sunday night. Yeah, Diana, or this is Diana that does stuff quite reasonable. They are $4.99. Scottish here, English breakfast, breakfast Scottish <laughs> breakfast, $5.99. Oh, there you go. Wednesday night is their white party. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. And then Sunday, Sunday dinners. dinners. This is their menu here. As far, uh, I remember they do the um, the ten specials, pounds yeah, for, ten yeah. pounds for your you know, like three course or five course with English dinner. How's it going, my friend? Yes, and there we go. A special offer. Special offer on the starter, main meal, dessert. Any chicken pasta is a ten pound, and same meal for the any steaks is sixteen. That's amazing. That's course. really good. Pasta, pizza, and chicken dishes from here and stick dishes or from here anyone can pick up anyone that's very good yeah so that's yeah. that's really good pricing yeah. because yeah. when you come in as a start you get pita bread yeah you know the ballon bread yes, yes. on the yes. side garlic for the bit pine dips yeah and then on the menu you pick up any soup yeah. or garlic bread cheese roll garlic mushroom onion ring as a start you can pick up anyone yeah wow and then you get your main meal and most of them you serve them with chips right Okay, so right on cue, our phone overheated outside Diana's. We only got about 16 minutes. So I said, why not come in, let it cool down, and we'll try one of his breakfasts then. So these cocktails are the two for ones. So this is a cheese and bacon burger and it only costs about £4.50. So I decided to go with the tuna jacket potato and mine was about £4.50 as well. Okay, so the phone overheated as I said and we're just out of Diana's. We had a nice snack there for brunch. That's good. And here we go, take two. Well, off. attempt to. <laughs> attempt the promenade walk. No, it's even warmer now, so we'll see how this goes. Right <laughs> Good, thank you. Hello. <laughs> this is a Funny Girls restaurant show bar, and that's one of the cheapest English breakfasts, three ninety nine and four ninety nine for your Scottish breakfast that we've seen. Hello. <laughs> Monday. We're going Turn, home. Turn to market on Monday. <laughs> so here is Green Nature Diamond. Um, at night time they have a lovely little market up here of all like Turkish crafts and things on this street as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit high in the night time, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. 
good just here. A little bracelets and everything, souvenirs. And they even had like wee like baby cardigans and all that. It's too warm for them now, obviously. But. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but for Christmas, you know. Yeah. A lot of people do you just come to Marmaris, buy their sons and daughters Christmas presents, put them away. So with this green nature diamond, it's not here that long, um, but it's huge as well. It's another one of the big resorts in Marmaris. just see in there they've got like set up for entertainment outside yeah, it's and massive all that sort of stuff as well slides and things so yeah that looks really good the views from those ones up there would be amazing yeah they'd be nice wouldn't they? just looking out over that bay lifeguard stations and stuff dotted along the beach every yeah. now and again as well so yeah they have a lifeguard there which is few and far between along the beaches in Marmaris but to be fair the current isn't that strong in there no you know? no 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 tides really or anything not, like that it's not like it just drops off it's no it's pretty easy to walk out if you can't swim as well here's Volo restaurant bar I don't know if that's attached to Green it Nature is. Diamond. Yeah. It is, yeah. There's the beverage menu. Little ice cream stands. Are you even on holiday if you don't get an ice cream? <laughs> There's another place you can rent the jet skis, etc. And say they're dotted right along here. And they do offer like drone footage and all, but obviously that all comes with an extra yeah. cost. It's more expensive than the actual jet ski. <laughs> or your photos and drone footage. Drone footage is the one that's really expensive. We were at a, we done the jet ski and everything and it was £60 for the jet ski and then they were looking £100 for the photos and the drone, drone footage. footage. Uh, he dropped it to 80 that's as low as he would go. There was no haggling. But I still thought that was very expensive. Oh it was. So this is the Poseidon Hotel then as well on this side, which looks quite nice. And again they've got their own jetty on that yeah, one they have their own jetty. and these little float jetties like for sunbathing as well so it all looks very good there I'd be under the umbrellas <laughs> yeah we're not exactly complexion that's built for the sun curve. certainly not pale blue <laughs> is the color of the shade and we said. go home white yeah <laughs> There's a little Irish pub here. If anyone likes their Guinness, they have Guinness on draft in here. Oh, do they? Yeah, there's a sign draft Guinness. Chris will probably have to come and sample that at some point. Certainly will, no prices on the, the breakfast. Kids play area. Free pool table. And yes, draft Guinness, there you go. Any Guinness lovers? And comedy drag shows at night. And what hotel is this? The Elegance Five Star. Oh yeah, like, their, their jetty's gorgeous. Beautiful. They have like big foam beds out there. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Well this is where we got the jet skis the other day. It looks really good. It's not a card restaurant. 
here. Oh yeah, you can have your dinner out there on that your dinner pier. Dinner on the pier at night time. Yes, we've seen that. That would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes, mate. <laughs> oh, jet cars. They are new yeah, this year. We haven't really seen them before. Yeah, the jet cars are a new addition. So. Yeah, I like the, the pink Lamborghini. <laughs> Blue Bay Platinum's beach. Blue yes. Bay Platinum's actually though. This yeah. hotel off the beach. It's set way back there, yeah. But they have their own beach there. Yeah, so that's something to consider and they don't do a drink service. Um, like a lot of all-inclusives do on the beach. They have nobody to give you drinks, you just have to buy them. But so we that's stayed it. There that's a bit of a let down. Yeah, we stayed last there last year. year and um, absolutely loved it. Oh we loved it. It didn't put us off, but we're not beach people. Yeah. But some people you talk to, they of course they they want to stay in the all-inclusive hotel. They want their drinks included on the beach, which is totally understandable and uh, that's a deal breaker for them. So from about here I would say is really where the bars and restaurants all start ramping up. Yeah. Um, so that's probably from the Cedia to here taking us about 15-20 minutes in the sun so yeah. at night time it might take you a bit less if the sun's not as intense. This is one of our favourite places, Vamos. We love Vamos. We say favourite places, we've never eaten. No, we haven't, but the drinks are really nice and yes. it's like an Instagrammer's paradise it inside. It is, yes. There's um, some really good views. We've only been inside the once, but it's because of the pier. But there's their menu. And if, if any Budweiser lovers are they find the Affe's a bit heavy, here is one of the cheapest Budweiser's you can find. And they've got the pier out there yeah. as well that you can sit and have a drink of an evening. That's the reason there, and the big comfy beds. Sitting out there, even in the warmest nights, is probably the coolest place. And then we have Maris Beach, which is where we've had a few cocktails Very nice. in there too. Yes. It's good as Strongest well. and not only that, the quality of the cocktails very good, but I wouldn't get the porn star martinis. They didn't, they weren't like porn star martinis Definitely to me. not like ones no. back home. <laughs> uh, They're the super strong. <laughs> they are. Uh, great breakfast in here, you get like two sausage in there one. Uh, that's just over five pounds. Um, really recommend the, uh, the strawberry margaritas. They were amazing. Strawberry daiquiris, kiwi daiquiris, any of the frozen daiquiris, absolutely amazing. They're huge as well when they come Yes, as Julian was saying, the daiquiris there are massive. The kiwi really? daiquiris, <laughs> strawberry daiquiris are all amazing. Uh, so, so continue on here. This is Blackpool Bar. We yeah, in here. Yeah, we did. It was nice. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty good. If you like, if you're a fan of like proper burger, they do a really nice homemade yes, one in there. Yes, they do proper handmade beef burgers here. I like hamburgers. Some of the cheaper places are. We'll go and have a look at their menu for you. Yes, thank you. All right, man. How's it going? Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> they all say that. <laughs> Although some's cheaper than Asda. And then here's the water park. Yeah, and there's the water park. It's got like a waffles, sweet waffles, milkshakes. The water park is the cheapest if you just come and pay the fee at the gate. Yeah as well yeah you can you can go up to the tour operators and book it and get picked up from your hotel if you're far away but you can just walk down and so just pay at the gate there for an adult it's 530 turkish lira and for children 430 and it's open from 10 till 5 they give you a wristband so you can just come in and out as you like as well yeah. you don't have to stay in there then the whole day like some water parks are which yeah. is good as well that's true you're not away bust to the middle of nowhere and stuff there and it's good that it's on the beach and some of the bars on the beach actually have these swings that you can just maybe see over there yeah we've got them right along which is a nice touch again at night time this just sips and bites is really like cool vibe in there because it's um, just got a wee live band it's a bit more chill than yeah. some of the other bars <laughs> how, <are you? laughs> how you doing mate <laughs> yes yes great thank you <laughs> yeah you'll need it for later on 
but also it's a all kind of the menu. It's like this. I have free some beds. For yes, some free some beds yeah, if you I eat here. Kind of burgers. Yes. This is a not. A, how can I say? Not really the products we make it. This homemade yes. like burgers. Homemade, homemade yes. burgers. Yes. And okay. It's also we make this homemade. Yes. And kind of the pasta I have. Yeah. Spaghetti bolognese coming like yes. this. Beautiful. Yeah. This is salmon. Yeah. And this spinach. This is lamb shake. This is cafe de Paris. Yes. Yeah. That's kind brilliant. of cafe de Paris sauce. Yeah. It's coming. How would the guests enjoy? And this evening also we have a live music. Yeah. Kind of coolest music. Yeah. Yes. Reggae. Yeah. Blues and reggae. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like yes. That, we enjoy it. <laughs> yes. We will Thank enjoy. you. Yes, maybe later, mate. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank All you. the best. Hello, YouTubers. Hello. Hello, YouTube. Welcome <laughs> <laughs> to my channel. <laughs> and then this is Pasha Garden, which looks nice too. Nice and chill in there. Nice vibe. Not very loud. Some hotels are quite loud around the building. Yeah, some of them are. They, where we're staying, Club Palm Garden Keskin. People call it the party hotel. But the music's not even that loud, yeah, really, to no, be honest. It's, it's just it's nice, good, yeah. yeah. But it's like sort of dancey tunes, I suppose you would say, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here's Batman Bar. Here's Batman the place. Bar. We love it here. <laughs> <laughs> we love it here. How are you doing? How are yes, you doing? doing well, mate. You all right? How are you, mate? Yes. You're coming for lunch? <laughs> not lunch today, mate, but we'll be, we're coming back for drinks. Right. So we are later. For a drink? Yeah, yeah. We loved it here the other night. So yeah, lively. So Good bar. Awesome. Nighttime, yeah. <laughs> Highly recommend in there. <laughs> Buy one, get one free, and the cocktails. Cocktails were good, but just the There's staff are cool amazing. Long time, guys. <laughs> 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 Very nice, sexy banana. <laughs> There's yeah. a sign in there as well that says, so you can all reassure your parents and send it home. Don't worry, Mom, I'm Batman Bob. <laughs> <laughs> yes, nothing could go wrong there. <laughs> just have to get oh. very drunk. It's really, it is like a proper party paradise in there. Yeah, it? it is. Yeah, it's a place you go after you've had a few drinks, you know. <laughs> Definitely. And then you just stay there. It was really, really good. It's another nice chill looking bar, Firuze. I probably destroyed that pronunciation. There's a little look the menu there. And the drinks. Hello. There's Hello. <laughs> that all capture you here for ages, so the weird. <laughs> Can you take over and bring something, please? We're not, we've already... Yeah. Everyone would have you stop and talking, you. but this is the third take we've had to do with my phone overheating. We actually just went to one of the shops and put my phone in the fridge. So, we're lucky if we get about seven minutes. <laughs> but we'll get there in the end. chilled looking place there. A lot of them are attached to apartments and hotels and everything. And then this next bar coming up is Tiger's Tavern which again is a lot like Batman in that it's a real party bar at night time. Oh. I would say it's more like a club because it's got yeah. A dance floor and everything, and it's another one you come after a few drinks, but there's lots of entertainment. Freddie Mercury, Dolly Parton. Yeah. Yes, please, please we were there phone. last Wi-Fi night. Shovel, shovel. And it was, yeah, it was all right. And like we said, they all have... And again, have, you can um, use the beds. And those bars have their some beds as well, which is good, if you want to use them. And 
just up at the side of this tour operators then. Dublin, is, thank you. Um, all the football bars. So. Oh yes, yeah. We'll take a walk up here. So at night time, all these football bars are hiving. There's usually entertainment in most of them, or some form of crack happening. Yeah. <laughs> There's a chippy here, but to be honest, it's nowhere near as good as Tasty Bites. It's over there, which many people know about. You've got the Ibrox Bar here. And this area here is all owned by the Ibrox Bar. And this is full of tables and chairs, and the Rangers matches are on. And there's a t that's the TV they show. But um, it is always full any time we've been passing the scene. Now, the Women's World Cup is on. So there's a few people in the bars actually, because during the day it's normally quite quiet. And here's the Manchester bar. It's the only place you'll get Man City and Man United fans sitting together, I suppose. And then you've got the Anfield bar for the Liverpool. Yeah, the Liverpool supporters there. Another club. And then down here. <laughs> is the Geordie bar. And this Albatross bar to the right of it just there yeah. is really good. We were in there the other night, had a good night's crack in there. Yeah, uh, the boys went back to the hotel and left the girls out and then you lost my wife, <laughs> didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's going to take you away, he said. Oh. Yeah. Tiger in there, he's a funny man. Tiger. <laughs> They've all got great names, Tiger, Rambo, Rocky, you know. <laughs> easy to remember though. That's it, it is easy for us. But the Anfield Bar, it'll show all the Everton games and everything like that, so... At one stage there was an Everton Bar here as well, yeah. do you remember? There's like a chippy. There. Yeah, there was an Everton bar, I think there was, yeah. yeah. And then that's Tasty Bites, as yes, we said. Yes, that's the Tasty Bites. Get your jacket spuds and all in there. And proper cheesy British, chips for gravy, like yeah. Proper chippy chips, if yes. you know what we mean. Yeah. There's a look at the menu. And then up to the left here is the blue port, so you can come and just walk down from there as well. It's probably easy landmark within the centre of yeah. Armourist to find your barons from. That's your blue port shopping mall. It's like three floors and there's reasonably priced food court in there. And you also have a Burger King and a KFC. Yeah. And a, there's McDonald's a McDonald's cross the road if anyone's missing those home takeaways. Yes, and you can just see that fiery dragon there in the distance. That is the Taj Mahal, uh, which does great Indian curries and also Chinese as well. It's over like two floors, but it, it's always very popular. So we're going back and we'll continue the beach walk here. Okay, we're back on the beach. We came from there. Here's Daisy Beach Fun Club. Have a look at some of the menu prices there. Some of them they have to keep changing them because their exchange rate fluctuates. Um, at the moment in resort, we're getting 340 lira for 10, for 10 pounds. pounds, 34 lira to the pound, 33.50. So yeah, it's it's pretty good. But a tip for anyone if you're if you're booking for next year or anything. Do not change your sterling currency to um, Turkish lira before you come away because if you start changing now, next year it could be 40, 45 to the pound, you just don't know. And we've heard stories of that happening to people. Keep your sterling, just bring sterling, everyone will change it for you. <laughs> no thank you, no thank you. <laughs> We'll look at your we'll look at your man we'll look at your menu mate. So well we're just doing a vlog here. Hello. We're not nice, <laughs> nice weather here. Where are you? Oh it is. Wherever you're watching, <laughs> it's here. Come here. It's beautiful. I mean Turkey Channel. No thank you, mate. No thank you. Thank you. Um yeah, as I was saying, uh, keep your sterling, bring Hello. your sterling with you. <laughs> 
Okie dokie. Hello. Hello. What is this? Bonga ma talking. Video. Yes, BBC Vlog. One. Hello. <laughs> Good afternoon from Turkey. My name is George Clooney. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, George. <laughs> I've just met George Clooney at La yeah. Bonito. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, this. <laughs> so yeah. Um, it's got to the point we don't bring, we used to bring maybe a hundred lira and change it with Thomas Cook years ago or 2A, but we don't even bother anymore. Just just bring all your sterling or euros or dollars, wherever you're coming from. Everywhere all changing. And you get a better rate in the supermarkets, the, yes. little, the little corner shops here. Those um, currency conversion places actually charge a commission as yeah. well, the corner shops don't. Yeah, so don't go to the currency exchange. This is just go to the shops. Yeah. Well, there's the Nergis Hotel or whatever it is. This is Felix. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very nice. Haven't eaten here before. Looks beautiful inside though, doesn't it? Yeah, I remember walking past this before with your dad last year. Yeah. We took a wander. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> As you can see, there's so many more bars down this end. Salt and pepper. There's salt and pepper. Four fifty for an English breakfast. Six fifty for, for Scottish. Scottish. Yeah, so it's getting really oh, warm. Look at that heart. Midday sun. Oh, that's beautiful. It's yeah. cute, isn't it? Very nice. That's the, yeah. They're nice, nice sun beds, aren't they? Hello. Hello. You all right? Thank you. No, thank you. No, thank you. That's the Green Beach Fun Pub. A quick look at their menu. Of course, I can't scan all this and take in what the prices are, but some places a little bit dearer than others. Here's next door Reflex Beach. Two for one cocktails. Let me guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's some really nice places down this end. Yeah. Yeah, very nice.